Hello, all my lovely Aquariuses. I'm doing your reading for June 2022. Can you believe it's June already? I cannot. So if you are new here, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Comments and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. And Aquarius is not your only sign. Aquarius is just your sun sign. So you are going to have, uh, go, go to Google, put your birthday in and put in rising sign, put in moon sign and watch all three videos and it'll give you a real holistic view. So you see, I have these couple different decks. I use two different decks and and I do the Astro Dice at the end, and we'll go over some cool products that I found in my storeroom. So let's see what's going on with Aquario. Let's see. Aw, good for June. Aquarius killing your ego, which is very good. My husband's an Aquarius, so, <laughs> so it says, okay, so it looks like, so it seems like you had a good, like a windfall. It could have been a tax return. Looks like you had a windfall, I would say, in the March, April time period. And then May, it looked like there was a split or there was a division between you and your love or between you and your property, something like that. Now, June, it shows... Uh, coming back together, it shows a honeymoon period, which is really wonderful. You're still going to be worried about money. I, can't, I don't know if you can see this card on the thing. Let me see. Uh, I think so. Um, it says you're still going to be worried about money or you may get bad money news or the money news may be your decision to work things out or get, you know, handle some love situations. Now, it does say that you're not taking somebody's advice in your life. There is some, this is either mom issues or this is a female in your world that has given you advice or told you things and you're not taking it could be a boss could be a mom could be an auntie something like that um and then it says that in looks like in august or um, yeah this is july sorry this is june this is july it says you're going to have to put away your ego if you want to have stability if you want to have things go your way it says there's gonna be an ego crushing okay so it's better you do it than the universe does it. So it's better you start tucking your ego away and do whatever you got to do for that. So Aquarius, I don't know if you know this, but you are the only human in the Zodiac sign and you are so helpful and you're so wonderful. And that's why the gods made you part of the Zodiac. Okay. So there, you also are the most, I hate to say this, everybody thinks Leo is, but uh, actually Aquarius is the most ego driven card because it's the only human one. Okay. So you really need to keep kind of keep that in check because it looks like it may be the root at some of the issues going on in your life. All right. So, and, and I know this is like Mercury retrograde and all these eclipses are coming through. So just be aware that that's something you just want to work on. And, you know, it looks like you're going to have good relationship stuff. It looks like the money stuff you got to figure out a little bit. There was some disconnect here, but it seems like when you're having bad love problems, um, you're also having money issues. So when you're good with love, you're good with money. Virgos are the opposite. It's so funny because I'm a Virgo. So let's look and see what this, this deck, I don't know if I told you has cursing in it. If you don't like cursing, I'm not the fucking psychic for you anyway. So this is a very modern deck. Let's see what it has to say for Aquariuses. I'm just going to close my eyes and pick three at random. Okay. You know, these two kind of stuck together. You're going to get four cards today, Aquarius. You're so lucky. They kind of stuck together in my fingers. Okay, so first one, time to let go. Move the fuck on. Okay. Re I never know this is rebel or rebel. Whatever it is. Because fuck it. And then fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. I think this has to do with this one. I think these two are good. Because this one wanted to come out too. It's kind of funny. Fucking apologize, Aquarius. Uh, and then it says, it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. Yeah, so these are all very cards of ego. I hate to say that. I hate to say it, Aquarius. I really do. But these are all cards of ego. So get your ego out of the way and things are going to get a lot better for you. Now let's see what the Astro Dice has to say. You got a Taurus. You got a... That's not Mercury. What is that? Yeah, it is a Mercury. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't have my bifocals on. And fourth house. This is the second time we had a fourth house so far. So fourth house. So I don't know if you know about, I have, this is my cheat sheet. So you, if you get the Astro Dice, it comes with these three dice and the Psychic Vision Oil in a really beautiful pouch. And you get the cheat sheet of how to read them. So I'm going to be reading these off camera because bifocals. So fourth house is all about psychology, your head, what's going on in your coconut, as I like to say. And then we have, let's see. Taurus. Why can't I see it? Is it Taurus? That is Taurus, right? Yes. Being solid and stable. Mm. 
Aquariuses are not good at being solid and stable. No, if I have, my husband's an Aquarius, I have Aquarius friends. You guys are great. You're great, you're fun. But if you see something shiny, you're like, whoop, off to the races. Okay, and then in Mercury. So yeah, you're gonna have to use psychology to have solid, stable communication. You're gonna have to use your coconut and think it through and go, why is my communication not getting through? Because we saw relationship and money issues. So now it gets better in June, but then it could go worse again. So you really wanna take this time between now and June. And don't forget, I have awesome, awesome, awesome spells. I can do a spell for you. I have three and a half thousand five-star reviews. So I am not fly by night. I've been doing this forever. And if you want to go more in depth about your issue, I would love to do um, uh, packages. So I'm sorry, I'm doing uh, coaching packages. I'm doing tarot packages. I'm doing phone call packages. That's going to be the new thing on the website. And right now I do have, you know, you just get, go by time. So 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, you get me on the phone and we can talk over anything you want and make a plan for you. And then if you want, I can subscribe subscribe, prescribe, prescribe, not subscribe. I'm not Netflix prescribe, um, root work for you or spell work. And I can handle all that one-stop shop here. Got everything all taken care of. Now, if you don't mind hanging in there, Aquarius, Aquario, I found these super awesome Saint metals digging around in my storeroom. I totally forgot. I bought these in auction. These are beautiful and they come in the car, the artwork alone. And these are all vintage. How beautiful. And the chains, I mean, they're so shiny and pretty. Um, so if you, even if you're not Catholic, you got a Catholic friend, you got, you just like saints, you just like original cool artwork, anything like that. Um, jewelry, this would make a great bracelet too. And then I also have, I mean, some of these are gold. Look how beautiful that is. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then I also have a bunch of these prayer cards. So if you want to do your own work, I did a really funny video with Barbie dolls. If you click a couple down below, it's like the DIY spell. I'm going to do another one of those DIYs uh, this weekend also. So um, you can put this under your spell work. So let's say you're doing a candle and you don't, you're just like lighting one of Mama D's votive candles. I have the best votives, by the way. If you're lighting one of those, you can just stick this prayer card underneath there. Okay. And then nobody has to know. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. And, you know, have your little spell work going. Parents won't know. Your significant other won't know. It's perfect. So check all this stuff out. My links are down below. You want to get a hold of me personally, you can text me personally. It is 484-634-0435. Go ahead and text me. Uh, please do not call. But if you text me, I'll get right back to you and let me know your name, number one, because I get these like, hi, and they write a book. And I'm just like, what's your name? So send me your name and then tell me what's going on with you. And we'll pick a real easy path for you to go forward. So there you go, guys. That's the video for Aquarius and Aquarius, it's good and it's going to get better. So thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys.